What's up, people of the world? It's your girl, Lala. And your boy, Siobhan. And you are listening to... Talk That Shit. With the Melvins. Hey. Yeah. So, what's up? What's down? What's around? Not the town. Up in there now? You don't know what you're saying. I just made up a word. No, you didn't make up anything, actually. I did. I just made up a word. But like I said... um. I want to give a shout out to Lala Melvin for making these cinnamon rolls that I'm about to destroy and have to work out like crazy tomorrow because they're, listen, you would pay $50 per cinnamon roll for these. Cinnabon ain't got shit, shit on you. <laughs> I feel like. For, oh my God, because your nails. I feel like a little boy. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Well, you are. <laughs> you are a little boy. Ain't nothing little about me, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. You thought that was funny? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, since this is a uh, woman's history year, you got the podcast uh, topic this year. <laughs> This, this woman's history year, bro. Yeah, because I haven't gave any podcast um, topics. Because you're no good. What's what, what's up with you today? No good. You're just no good. I could have swear I was your co-host. Exactly. No good. Mm. Co-hosts are no good. I bet. Okay, so let's hear about this. I have. I have three topics that are possibilities. Uh Uh-huh. I kind of think I want to do this one, though, that I have in my phone. It's the really good one you said? Yeah. It was, it's not even that it's like a really good one. It's just the fact of, I don't even know why I was thinking about this yesterday, but it like popped in my head. I'm crazy, man. "Hmm." Mm -hmm. So. Yep. Here it is. Here we go. Ever wonder why people are so great at keeping their composure with customers or clients on the phone for customer service jobs, (laughs) but can't keep their composure or keep that same energy for their children? Oh, shit. Oh. 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 Can I jump in on this one? That's what you're so, here for. I think it's a matter of, honestly, money. Because there's no repercussion on you lashing out at your kids. That's and, not and true. Th- I'm, I'm saying people think this. I'm, I, don't, I don't agree with this. But people feel as though there's no repercussion when you are saying things to you. Or you're... you're th- People think that the kids aren't important and they don't. Yeah. But when you have a job that you're going to every day and you're getting paid from it, they feel as though that they have to do certain things in order to. What is it? Turn the other cheek for them to be able to keep their job, because if they put customers because I don't believe the customer is always right. At all. I don't know who made up that slogan or who felt that way or who was like, hmm, you know what I mean? They're giving us money or they're paying, they're buying for our product. No, sometimes these damn customers need their ass kicked and sometimes they need to be like, yo, you're wrong. You know what I mean? So I feel as though it's, it's people that actually care about their jobs more than that, you know, than their patients. So they're like, oh, let me keep my, let me keep my composure. So pretty much what you're saying is there's people, majority of people that say, fuck my kids, my job's more important. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hands down. That's I feel like that's it's kind of like, um, oh, my kids got to be picked up at three o'clock. Right. But you don't get off work at four. You'll be like, hey, so and so, can you pick my kids up? Or. Can they stay in daycare? I mean. I mean, whatever it's called, daycare for an extra hour because I don't get off of work until four. 
you know, instead of it, instead of you well, being, you don't like, have to call and say, can they stay in daycare? For well, an extra hour? well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, but yeah, instead of you being to your boss and be like, or yeah, I got to go at four. Okay. Well, since you opened it up, we can use you as an example. You can. We'll we'll go to that later. Okay. Okay. But let's let's talk about what we're talking about first, and then we'll we'll move on to that. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I think we were watching TV or something, or maybe I was scrolling through social media. I'm not really sure. It was like our day was winding down. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this shit is just so bad. I have the worst sunburn in my life. Y'all see me scratching or like patting my chest or something. It's pretty bad. Oof. You want to see mine, guys? Um, <laughs> yeah, so I seen something triggered the thought <laughs> right. in my head. And it made me say to myself, I wonder why. Like, what's the reasoning behind or what is the, like, what is the mindset of someone who, is is able to keep their composure mm-hmm. while at work dealing with clients slash customers, aka strangers. Um uh, and actually, they're and mm-hmm. and then like their children at home. Like why aren't they why aren't they able to keep their composure and, and deal with their children at home? Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I get some people would say, oh, well, that's my job. That's my livelihood. That's how I take care of my kids. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, I get that you 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 need this check or, you know, whatever the case may be. But at the same time. At no point do you think about. The effect of you losing your temper and not being able to control your emotions when it comes to your children Mm -hmm. or child, you don't think that that's going to have some type of adverse effect somewhere later on down the road. And for some people, it may not. For some, it may just be what it is. You feel me? Uh, But for those who have experienced, you know, like the, oh, mom's so stressed and, she comes home from work because she's so stressed with her job and then she's, like, taking it out on us, yada, yada, Mm -hmm. yada, this, that, and the third. And it's, like, I feel like a lot of parents, when they have stressful jobs and they come home to a family, they let it all go on their family instead of letting it all go on those people they've been on the phone with all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, or, or like, with their boss or, like, their coworkers. Like, right. The people that's been the getting on there are the people that are causing you the stress. Now, I, I can can I say something? Because I feel like I've done that at work. <laughs> like the people that was causing me stress or people that was getting on my nerves, I was like, "This is it! Like you gotta you gotta catch these, you gotta get cursed out, or you gotta, you know, have you have I what have I." Say it again. Have I what? Have you? Have I what? The people that caused you stress. Have you ever? Yes. When? Um. Let me just say this. Mm-hmm. Because never once have you put someone in their place or handled someone in the nature of them handling you that was causing you stress. Oh, okay. Now, okay, other okay. people around you, that's a different story. Okay, okay, okay. The people that have always caused you stress, you've always let them cause you stress. Mm-hmm. And then you brought that shit home. Okay. So I'm just trying to under... I, but you, but, but you, do you think that I... I brought it home, but I, I lashed out on everybody else? That's what you're saying? Um, yes, certain, at certain times you would. Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. At certain <coughs> times, you, <coughs> at certain times you would have an attitude. Oh, okay. But is that lashing out? Yes. Though? Because what is your, your attitude isn't toward us. 
your attitude isn't toward me. It's not towards the boys. So, therefore, what is all of that about? It has nothing to do with us. So, it shouldn't be directed toward us. Right. So, I'm just trying to understand why is that you're so able to keep your composure. Like, that check at the end of the day don't mean shit. Hold on. mm, Hold on. That mm. check at the end of the day. Because when you really put it into perspective, right? And I know probably a lot of people won't put it into that into this perspective because they have a family to take care of. But when you put it into the perspective of I'm stressed at work because of X, Y, and Z. Customers, boss, coworkers, right? Uh-huh. And let's say all of the above. And you come home, you lash out with at your family, or you lash out at your children, or you have an attitude towards the people closest to you, a.k.a. the people in your home. Mm-hmm. Put it in into the perspective of if you do it enough, you may one day lose your family because of that. Is losing your family, is, have, is having your job. <laughs> that was a real long pause. Because I had to make sure I was saying it right. Is is having your that particular job more important than having your family? Absolutely not. No, it's not. Well, I mean, not. for some people, it may though. Absolutely, but um, but but there are people that make excuses for that person lashing out at them all the time. Like, oh, he's stressed because there's a lot going on at work. And then he'd be like, well, what that got to do with us? And he'd be like, well, you know, we got things that need to be paid, blah, blah, blah. So he has, he's under a lot of stress. And it's like, that still has nothing to do with me mm-hmm. and us and him treating us bad. Because, because we're not the ones making your life Right. Hard. We should be the ones that make you smile when you get home to release that mess. So, so why is it so easy to keep? Because I'm not that person, right? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I've had jobs. Right. Okay, so like for instance, right, I worked at Target. <laughs> Shit's funny every time I hear this. <laughs> this you gotta tell the whole story I, too. I, we I, got time. I I worked at Target. Right. And shout out Tarj. Pretty much um Okay, so when I started, <laughs> I was supposed to be working as like stocking shelves and shit, right? Yes. Didn't happen. I ended up being a cashier. Because of her smile. Bullshit, right? <laughs> so then they had nobody to work the little cafeteria, cafe area. So, and then nobody also had their food carts. I had mine. So, because I had just got out of um, culinary school. Well, it dropped out. <laughs> 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 um, you petty for that. I'm just saying. Um, so yeah, so I was working in the cafe for the longest. Mm -hmm. Great. Like I'm by myself. Don't nobody bother me. Like it is what it is. I'm just making people shit. Boom. I'm like, I'm, and I was pregnant at the time. Okay. I was like five months pregnant at the time. You was five months pregnant at the target? Yeah. I thought it was like four. No, it was like five. It was like, it was like, cause I found out I was, I was three and a half. I was three and a half months when I found no, out. No, you got, cause I, you, no, I, you were further along. No, no, no. You sure? Let's see. I worked there. It was like August. I had chummy in January, September, October, November, when did you? Uh, January. Yeah. So, so I was like four and a half, five months. I could have swore you got. Boy, anyway, go ahead. It go was ahead, like go ahead. I was like four and a half, five months pregnant. Right, it was right. still fairly early in my pregnancy. I'll okay, put it like that. Okay, so I was working food or whatever, right? Then they moved me back to cashier. Can't even remember why, but they had me back on the fucking registers, right? <laughs> so at this point, everybody shops at Target. We all know this, right? So they have these red cards, aka Target credit cards. Don't yeah. get it. It's they're, trap. <laughs> they're basically, you know, like anywhere has a quota to meet. So they're like, you know, you should be at least one card a day. Oh, Great. Shit. I'm not the type of person that's going to harass people to get a credit card. Right. I'm just not. I'm going to ask you once and that's it. So that's what I did. I did my job. I bagged groceries and shit from Target. And then one day. 
the little supervisor lady. <laughs> the little supervisor. Was like, hey, you know, you're not meeting your red car quota. Um, you know, you should you should ask more and give incentives. I said no. <laughs> <laughs> This shit's hilarious. I said, no, I ask one time, and if they don't want it, I'm not going to harass them and keep asking them and pressuring them to get a credit card. I'm not going to do that. She ended up walking away, and she was pissed, bro. Like, you see the anger. Like, her ears was like, it was like steam coming out of her fucking ears and shit, right? Which like I don't car- understand. Like the cartoons. Like, bitch, this ain't your fucking corporation. Right, I don't Calm understand. Like, down. do she get, like, f- no, uh, red- this, this bitch just, she she took her job too fucking serious. Like, relax, so it ain't oh that God. deep. So, I worked there for, I think I was only there for, like, t- was it, like, two months? Or or just just outside no, of so two months. I don't know. I was only there for a short period of time. I wasn't there that long. When did, I'm trying to figure out when did I get back? To, how many months were you when I got back? It doesn't matter. Why are you trying to? Why we don't need a specific? We don't need a a, a exact uh, timeline. I felt like you was there longer. It doesn't matter. I was there for <laughs> a short period of time. <laughs> it was between like it was. It had to be like two months. Had to be like two months because. You got when when you got back, it started getting cold. It don't get cold out here till October. So it had oh, to like, okay, okay, it had to be like two months, right? And not even cold. It was getting cool. So anyway, so fast forward, you know, <laughs> she keeps reminding me. Oh my god! About she... these red cards. Every time I come in, usually I was coming in for eight a.m. Right? Okay. So here's my thing: if the people. <laughs> that worked that night have a job to do, then the job should be done when I get there. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, because we weren't open yet, so the job should be done. I shouldn't have shit to do when I get there, but count my drawers and do whatever the fuck needs to be done as far as that goes, working the cash register. Right, right, right. Okay. It's normally always boring opening up a store. Exactly. So here I am walking around. It's nothing else to do. I'm ready to go. Let's open these doors. Right? <laughs> I'm standing literally in the aisle of my cash register line. Okay? Of my line. The supervisor girl comes over and she's like, hey, you know, there's always something to do. I'm like, no, there's actually nothing to do. What do you want me to do? This shit gets- she's like, you know, we can always move things forward. I'm like, so you want me to walk around and move a candy bar forward? That's what you want me to... Uh, okay, I'll do that's, that. That's already been stocked the night before. That should have been the night before. Okay, so where was the super the nighttime supervisor? Where was you at? <laughs> they just, well, first of all, they didn't, they didn't take their job that serious. That part. So, okay, I'll move your candy bars forward. Boom. It was like three, three bars out of place. <laughs> Moved them. I'm standing around again. Like, bitch, we don't open for, like, another 30 minutes. What do you really want me to do? Like, there's really nothing to do. She says it again. There's always something to do. I said, no, there's nothing. I'm just going to stand here. I'll wait until the doors open. There's nothing else for me to do. Okay. Fast forward. Maybe, like, a week or two later. (laughs) (laughs) I get there. And, um... I think we had already started working. Store was like open. Mm. So I'm like, you know, ringing people up and whatever. And she was like, hey, um, I don't know if she called me by my name or not. I don't really remember. And she was like, uh, I want to talk to you after your shift. I'm like, all right, bet. (laughs) Y'all, I already knew what was about to happen. (laughs) I I literally was waiting for it to happen. It's about to to go down. (laughs) So... (laughs) <laughs> so she she has me come upstairs. It was her and her supervisor, right? <laughs> her and her supervisor. So they sit me down. They're like, so, um, you know, you're just not meeting your, <laughs> your red car quotas, you know, and you don't really talk to anybody and you know, we would like, you know, we, we really want people that want to be a part of the team. I start laughing. She goes, so we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna pay you out (laughs) for today. 
for up to what she say for for your whatever the pay period was or whatever. Um, and then, you know, today will be your last day. So I'm cracking up. I was like, girl, if you don't give me my money and let me go. When I tell you hot. Like they were sitting there in disbelief because I'm laughing the whole time they're talking. This is not a shock to me. I'm not going to do what you want me to do because you want me to do it. I'm not changing who I am to fit this corporation. Wait, hold on. You know, you know what? I never got caught when you told me this. Bro, they didn't even have you in payroll <laughs> for that week. They knew they was going to fire yeah, they you. Knew they were gonna, and I was, I, I, but I told her, I said, why did y'all even have me come in? Y'all could have told me this shit over the phone <laughs> and mailed me a fucking check. What was the purpose? <laughs> I could have stayed the fuck at home because, mind you, I lived in Northtown. This was all the way in fucking Henderson. So you had me drive the way. The, it way was more the, than it was more than like 30, 40 miles away. Let's say that. It doesn't fucking matter how many miles. I don't give a shit if it was. No, I'm saying for people miles. that don't know what Henderson, you know what I mean? It's like 40 you miles away. You should have called me and told me <laughs> not to come because that was gas wasted and my time wasted, bitch. I didn't have to be there. That phone you knew calls. you didn't want me because you seen from jump that I wasn't going to do the bullshit that you told me that I needed to do Damn. because it was full on bullshit. That conversation was hilarious. They were so mad because I'm literally sitting there laughing like, y'all could have told me this over the phone. I don't, give me my money so I can go. <laughs> <laughs> can I have my money so I can leave? I said you know, it just like that. Can I have my money so I can go? You know, you know what the problem is? They be acting like these, like you getting paid top dollars to be nice to my thing rate. is, like, I understand it's a business and they want to make money and they want to play their customers because ultimately that's what the fuck you're doing. Right. Um, but I'm not going to be part of the okie doke. Okay? I'm going to be honest with you. People that get red cards already know that they're going to get a red card because they'll be like, you know what? I'm going to apply for the red card. I don't care if you know you're going to apply or don't. Don't no, I'm saying it's just it's it's so point. But the, the, like, don't harass people. Like, yeah. if they want a target credit card, they know how to go online. That's what I'm saying. Like they like you already people that want a target credit card. They already like you know what I'm already they I'm, already I'm, have I'm already it. in. Yeah, so let me get a let me go get this credit card. Right, like I'm not every time somebody comes. Oh, would you like to apply for a target red card? No. Oh, well, you know there's incentives. Oh, yeah, you get five percent back, bitch. No. I'm gonna they ask did that you. to me. They did that to me uh, at uh, when I went and got the grill. Yeah, they tried to do that to me at Sally's too. I'm not gonna harass people. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm not. I I I cannot. I'm that person. I will. I will happily get fired. <laughs> I will fire me for you. <laughs> I am not. Oh my god. Going to stress myself out or allow you to stress me out over some shit that ain't mine. I'm just not going to do it. You're not going to pay me $8 an hour to be stressed. Bitch, are you done? No, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to go home pissed off and angry and stressed. It's not. No, Mm -mm. absolutely not. Was that or was that not part of why I quit Sally's? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Besides your feet hurting every day. Well, I could deal with that, but that was, no. It was the fact of, you want me to continuously walk around a store where nobody's there. Right. And do what? I can, There's only so many times I can walk up and down four aisles and straighten up shit. Like, I can't, I, I, what? It's a box. And then, and then you, like, you just... It's like you you stressing me out, bitch, because you keep telling me to do the same shit and there's nothing to do. Right. You stressing me out because you're stressed out because corporate is on your ass mm -hmm. about some shit that happened before I even got here. Bitch, no. No, you want me to go home stressed out over a $10 an hour job? Hey, hold on, hold on. That's... <sighs> I don't give a shit if it's a, a 40... $40 an hour job. Absolutely not. It's not worth going home stressed to a family who's looking forward to seeing you. Right. It's just not. So you go home, you're stressed off, stressed out, pissed off. Everything is going to irritate you from that point on. Your kids can't say nothing to ask you nothing. Your wife or your husband, they, they looking at you like, well, what the fuck happens today? 
Right. Now everybody walking on fucking eggshells because you're stressed out because of a job. Make it make sense. True. Make it make sense. But when you at work, that that customer you keeping com- you keeping that, that composure you on the phone very. with, or that customer that's in front of you and says, "Oh, what well, is bitch?" D- 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 uh, uh, you're just <sighs> you take a breath there, but you won't take a breath at work. I mean, at home. <sighs> money, money is the root of all evil. No, it's actually not. No, I'm saying that's what people say. Money's the root of all evil. Like money will make you do things that you don't think that you would do. But you're not that type of person. But they say that about love, too. Love makes you do crazy things, right? Yeah, they say that. Crazy things would be like quitting your job so you don't be stressed out knowing you got bills to pay. That's crazy. The love comes from your family. So explain that. Clearly, money is more powerful than love. Wait, wait, wait. You said love, saying quitting your job when you got bills need to be paid, right? Yes. I said love makes you do crazy things. Love is I choose my family over the bullshit. Something crazy would be to quit your job knowing that you have a family that you need to take care of. But you're choosing your family over that bullshit because you don't want to be stressed out. But people will look at you crazy for doing it. Because then they, they be like, you don't care about your family if you do that. It's actually the exact opposite. But, you know, a lot of people are sheep and they're not going to look at it from that point of view. Sorry. No, that's good. No, I'm, I'm saying. just saying like, uh, like I, I used to think like that, like I can't. I have to keep my composure and do these bullshit ass shows and do all this stuff in order for my family to be happy. That's nuts, bro. I used to be like, I used to go through, I used to be like, sometimes I ain't gonna front. Sometimes I used to go in the bathroom. You know me. I used to go in the bathroom and just sit there and be like, what the fuck is going on? No, see, like, why can't this be Mm-mm. right? Mm-mm. Like, See, like I don't, I don't, I don't play that type of shit. Yeah, like I used to be like, I can go out there and be like, "Fuck all of this, I'm done." And then I used to, and then I used to think about like, but my family would be like, "Are you crazy?" But like, he never asked us how we would feel. Yeah, he just assumed that we would look at him like he was crazy. But no, I would have been like, "Congratulations, okay." Yeah, I used to Good be. Good job. Yes. You you actually did something that makes sense. Yeah. Like I've never I even like remember the old lady I told you about when I was at Sally? Uh, when she told me when she asked me, she was like, Are you gonna get the um cause this was what last year? Oh, the the vaccine. She was like, Are you gonna get the vaccine? I was <laughs> like, No. <laughs> she was like, Oh my God. <laughs> Why? I said, uh, cause I don't want to. And she was like you should really think about protecting others. I said, you should really think about leaving. (laughs) I don't give a shit. You could be 70 fucking five. Like, don't come in here running your mouth, talking your shit, because I'm going to talk back, period. Well, that's the problem. They just think that's another topic. Like, bitch, at the end of the day, this job don't run my personality. And my personality says snap back at this bitch because she got a lot to say for no reason. Yeah, but we talked about elders, right? I don't give a fuck. No, no, I'm saying we talked oh, about know, like elders uh, being older than you and thinking you that they can older, say that. You can be older, you can be younger, you can be my boss, you can be my coworker. I don't care. Yeah, I used don't to. Don't come at me with no bullshit trying to stress out my life because you're stressed about whatever's going on in your life or your workplace. That don't have shit to do with me. Yeah. And I don't hold myself in this company to the same standard that you do. Listen, I remember this, right? I remember doing a show, and I got stressed the fuck out, and they were like, I was like, what y'all asking and telling this person that y'all can do? Y'all can't do. And they was like, well, make it work. Make them feel comfortable. And I said, what the fuck do you mean make them feel comfortable? But you did it. What, make them feel comfortable? Christina Aguilera? (laughs) Yes. I'm talking about Christina Aguilera. And they was like, make. Yeah, he was at work for two days straight. A whole 48 hours, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because they because the company lied and said that they were doing something. And I had to be the fall guy f- to tell them. Should have let it fall. That's That wasn't going to happen. Should have let it fall. So I had to figure. So me, I had to figure out a way to do it illusional 
Like, <laughs> oh, it's there, but it really wasn't there. Like, it wasn't there. <laughs> like, what? That's when I knew I should have been like, fuck this shit. I'm done. But he didn't. I didn't because. He continued to let these people stress him out with these shows. Because I was like, if I don't do this, then I can't, I'm not going to. Like, I can't provide for my family in this. And I don't think that's what you were actually thinking. I think it was more like, I don't want to burn these bridges. Fuck the bridge. Okay. No, because I, I really didn't care about the bridges because those are the bridges that I I wasn't going to go over anyway, anymore. I only went over those bridges because I, I was trying to provide for my family. That's what you say now. What do you mean that's what I say now? You you people don't burn bridges. Listen, people don't burn bridges because they feel as though that they need to be able to go over those bridges again. And you can't go over a bridge that you already burned. So if I need to apply for a job somewhere else, I need you as a recommendation somewhere. You don't necessarily need anybody for a I'm saying but but because but, more recommendations, people still don't get jobs. So. True, but but there's but there's times where people are like, Well, what's the last thing you've done? Put down information so we can call them. Do you know, like, 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 if you if you go rent a house, right, and they're like, "Well, wh- who's your last landlord?" Let's give them a call. You be like, "Ooh, I don't want to put this down because I told them to suck my dick when I moved out last month." And so, it's like, there's a reason for everything. Yeah. Now, whether everybody sees it that way or not is another situation. But there's a reason for everything. I'm not going in on my boss for no reason. Yeah. You came at me sideways about a corporation that has nothing to do with you uh-huh. or me. Like, bitch, we are replaceable at the end of the day for any reason. Some people don't think Or no reason at all. Some people don't think. I some, know. Some pe- you know what? Some people believe that because they're replaceable, they need to be able to keep their job. And they don't believe in their skills. I'm not bending over backwards. For but no, no, no. I'm saying like they'd be like, like some people would be like, I'm not going they, they call it job security. Like, I'm not going to show you or even teach you how to do certain things because I don't want you to take my job. So what that tells me is the fact that you don't even believe your, you don't believe in yourself enough that rather you teach somebody or show them the ropes that, that they're... you can still hold your same position. Right. Like, I know I'm not, like, if I teach 30 motherfucking money, these motherfuckers still can't take my job because I'm, I'm still me. Right. I'm still who... But if I teach 10 of y'all... None of y'all might try to take my job. And it's like, you don't even have no confidence in yourself. Right. You know what I mean? That's why I, I really un- didn't understand why so many people in my my industry, <clears throat> old industry, used to be like, you don't want to you don't want to train your replacement. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? You don't want to train you don't want to teach them too much. And it's like, you don't even sound like a, a leader. You sound like a bitter person that want to keep the the door locked. Because guess what? If I teach that person, I teach that person, I teach that person, I teach that person, that makes my job easier. Because at the end of the day, I'm here for because I'm a leader. I'm here for my personality. I'm here because of my work ethic. Because even if that person knows how to do what I can do, but their work ethic is not nowhere as near as mine. What is work ethic? Work ethic is is what you put into it. It's how you do how 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 much energy you put in it. Michael Jordan's work ethic was crazy. So if I don't put a lot of energy into my work, that means I have no work ethic? No, that just means, just means no, that, that just means you your your work ethic set us at a, a certain spot. Some people may not you gotta think about it. Some people may be so good that they don't have to put in work ethic. Like Kobe Bryant was amazing, but what made him even more amazing? His work ethic. When everybody came in for practice, he was already there two two hours. When everybody left, he stayed an extra two hours. So now it became normal to him to to play the way he plays. So did he? I don't understand what you're saying. I thought I thought you were trying to say. I thought what you said was some people. You said something about people not not having to put in. Yeah, like I'm confused. Like some people don't have to. Some people just have a a God given ability to do something. So, so it, does that mean that they're not? They don't have work ethic, or they don't? I don't like. What does that mean? 
So, like, because I'm naturally good at it, I'm, I don't have to try as hard as the next person. Is that what you're saying? Some people think that. Like, you got to think about it. James Harden is a great... Let's just talk basketball again. James Harden is an amazing... I mean, do you really know about basketball like that? In that in that way, to speak on basketball terms? Yeah, because you got to look at... You, would you put James Harden up there with Steph Curry? <laughs> James Harden just seems lazy, bro. It's, no, At it's, times, he just seems lazy. It's, but Like, he just doesn't want to. But what if he came in and every time he shot the ball, it went in? What if? And, but he looked know. lazy. I just said sometimes he just look like he don't want to do it. Like he be walking down the court like, uh, he look like he, 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 a lot of times he look like his back hurt. <laughs> it, it probably do. A lot of times he just look like his back but, hurt, like he don't really want to be. But what I'm trying to say is the fact that will you put him up there with Steph Curry? Um, I don't know. They're two different players. Are they? Yeah. How are they two different players? How are they not? They play the same way. No, they don't. How do they play the same way? Uh, they shoot for the three first, and then they, they're they literally the point guard. James Harden. So because they play the same position means they play no, the same No, they're the same way? type of player. James Harden would shoot the three ball. Steph Curry would come down and shoot the three ball. That means they play the same way because they both shoot they threes? Have, no, they have the same type of game. James Harden plays just like Steph Curry, but different. So you, so James Harden plays just like Steph Curry, but different. A di- because his work ethic isn't as great as Steph Curry. Then they don't play the same. What the fuck are you talking? What? What? How do you say they play the same, but they play different, but their work ethic does is not the same? So then they don't play the same. They do. They yeah. run up and down the court and Bruh, shoot the basketball. You can't say they play the same. But so you're play. so you're saying that Michael Jordan and, and and Kobe Bryant are are the same player? Is that what you're saying? I've never watched Michael Jordan play basketball. Well, if you watch Kobe, you watch Michael Jordan. I mean, I don't know that, though. So I can't speak to that. All I'm saying is you can't say that James Harden and Steph Curry are the same player, but different. And their work ethic is different. No, I said, yes, James, what you said. I said they play the same you said way. They play the same way. Yes. But different. Then you said. Their work ethic is different. They, earth, so they, their work ethic is what, what separates them as so players. So they're different. They don't play the same. <laughs> Listen, if you had, you would never put James Harden and, and Steph Curry on the team, the same team. You would never do that. No, because James Harden always looked like his back hurt. <laughs> But he's the, but he's a top rated shooter I in the league. I don't care if he is the shooter in the league. He looked like his back hurts <laughs> all the is, time. What does that? What does that have to do with That's all work? I'm saying. Every time, what? I, every time I see James Harden on the court, he looked like my back hurts. Bitch, I want to go home. <laughs> That's what he looks like. I'm leaving. That's all I'm saying. I just talk. I don't know about basketball like that. Like I watch it here and there. But to be like, oh, yeah, they play the same. No, all I know is when I see James Harden on the court, yeah, he's either take, taking a really hard foul or he's Shh. walking down the court like his back hurts. Or he's shooting a ball. Yeah, or he's shooting a ball. What does Steph Curry do? Makes the ball. He doesn't shoot. He just <laughs> makes it. <laughs> There's a difference. You can shoot. That don't mean you're making it. Steph Curry doesn't miss. Because all Steph Curry does is practice his shot. So then, shot. therefore, they don't play the same. No, his work ethic is different. Because they don't they don't play the same. His work ethic is different, which means that he plays differently. <laughs> okay. That's like saying, bruh, me and you play hide-and-go-seek the same but different. But it's the same game, but I... Listen to what I'm saying. I got long arms. Listen to what I'm saying. But if I use strategy... To find my victims, and you just go searching, we don't play the same. No, we don't. Okay, that's all I'm saying. But what if I use strategy and you st- use strategy? But you're smarter than me. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm smarter than you, so it's still going to be different. So we're not playing the same game, bro. I'm playing a smarter game. You're playing a dumber one. So it's <laughs> Still playing not the, same, the game. same thing. Still playing the same game. All I'm saying is. When I bust your ass in Moncala, we're playing the same way. You never <laughs> bust my ass 
ever. And I ever. and I be I be thinking so hard that I I mess my own self up, and then you end up winning. Okay. Anyway, back to what we are sure. supposed to be talking about. You because you asked the question, what work ethic was? I know, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, like. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hiccups. <laughs> Fuck. Um, soul just came out my <laughs> shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Um. Yeah, but like, so like, you go home <sighs> from a job. Like, okay, so like I was saying, you there were there were times where you would come home stressed out because of your job. First thing you want to do naturally is go to sleep because you haven't been asleep. Understandable. <laughs> 48 hours. <laughs> Understandable. I can understand that. But then, like, let's say there were times where he didn't get paid on time. Mm. Or times where um, he didn't get paid at all. Mm. You still got to take care of your family at that point, but you still went back and worked for those same people. You're right. How does that make sense? It doesn't. So while you're pacing the house it's and insanity. pissed off and every time somebody says something to you, you kind of snap at them. Mm-hmm. Not because they did anything to you, but simply because you ain't get your check you're or right. your check's going to be late and bills was coming up. You still, but you still went, you still went back and you worked for those people. So it's like, what was the purpose? Like, because you, you weren't able to take care of your family because you got your, your check never came. So why are you? <laughs> Why are you giving, I don't know why that sounded so funny. Why are you giving your time back to the same people that you didn't even get your first check from? Because we were retarded. It's called insanity. You keep doing the same thing, the same thing, and expecting a different out, a different outcome. And you're not. Because we saw dollar signs on Me, I saw dollar signs on what I could do to help my family. Like, I literally see people. Oh, what? I personally have seen people be so stressed Mm -hmm. over their jobs. Like, they have full on anxiety because Mm -hmm. of their jobs. As if they're not replaceable. As if they won't replace you the second they feel like they found somebody better. Yep. You're stressed over a company that could really give two shits about you or the family that you have to feed. Why? That's true. And then you take that stress home. Why? And then you take that stress and you attack everybody closest to you. Why? But you didn't attack that bitch on the phone that called you a bitch. You didn't attack that customer that threw food in your face. You ain't attack your boss that told you you need to stay two hours late. No, bitch, I came in for eight. My shift says I get off at nine. Bitch, I'm gone. I'm not staying another two hours. I'm not coming in two hours early. Right. No, bitch, you can't have my lunch break. Absolutely not. No, that's not what I signed up for. My shift is from eight to whatever, 6 p.m. Bitch, when six o'clock hits, I am out the fucking door. Actually, at 5.59, 5.59, bitch, I'm out the door. Okay? Because, no. No, bitch, like, when this stressful-ass day is over, I'm going to take this big ball of stress that you caused, I'm going to throw it right in the little meeting room, and I'm going to go by my merry little way. Because I refuse to let people who don't give two fucks about me or whatever the fuck I have going on in my life... I'm I'm not I'm not giving you guys that. You know what's crazy about that? Um, just going through all of that, I used to feel like that stress was my stress, as if I was the company. Exactly. And I used to try to tell you all the time, they don't give two fucks about you, bro. Yeah, like they don't care. Oh, they're gonna lose this account and and I like so and I'd be like the fuck they got to do with you. I, I gotta save the account. And it's like I don't get no extra shit. They barely wanted to pay us what we was regular making. Exactly. So it's like. Exactly. They use you to keep the people that they have around. And then when they're done with you, they're done with you. And that's it. Don't nobody care how much stress they causing in your life. 
but you take that shit home and mm-hmm. then your family suffers because of it or shit, you suffer because of it. Like I said, I know people personally like be just fucking sick, like actually sick because of their job. Yeah. What the hell? Ma'am, uh, 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 why does this say this? Uh, cause that's what you told me to put there. What the, f- like, in what world, in what world did anybody make it okay for someone to call someone and call them out their name? <laughs> curse them out, make them feel less than, all because they work for a company. Bitch, I didn't make the rules, okay? And when you signed whatever the fuck it was that you signed, you should have read the fine print. Now, I feel like what companies should be doing, stop worrying about the customers that you're going to lose and worry about the customers that's going to stick around because you're keeping it 100 with them. Right. But people don't want that. They want they want they okay. want you to do something for them. You tell your employees the customer is always right. Treat them with kindness. Be nice, no matter how rude they are. You're not allowed to hang up on people. You can't punch somebody in their fucking face, even though they deserve it. Mm-hmm. Nah, fuck all of that. It should be punch that bitch back if she throw one. <laughs> it should be tell him to fuck off if he tells you to fuck off. That's what it should be. Let's play everybody else's game and see how much happier your employees are. Hmm. Food for thought, maybe? <laughs> no, nah, because they're going to be like, I'm taking my stuff. I'm taking my... Uh... But if everybody did that, then you're going to take your stuff to where? Because you're going to get the same treatment everywhere you go. Don't be rude. And then no one will be rude to you. It's very simple, honestly. That's true. If you approach a situation like you have sense and like you can talk to someone to get whatever issue you have solved, because it's very possible. Now, granted, there are some airheads that even though they have a manual to read from or they have, you know, training, Mm -hmm. still don't get it and still can't do their job the proper way. You can still always ask for someone else. Right. You don't have to be rude. The fact that people are allowed to be rude, like, it should be like, you stupid son of a click. I ain't got to deal with you. You stupid son of a, I need you to leave my store, sir. It should, that's how it should be. Right. Because nobody should be subjected to all of that extra from a bunch of people that they don't know. To work for somebody. That's true. For little bits of money that don't really help take care of anybody's family. That don't make no dent in nothing. Y'all, it's just, it's just, it just blows my mind. Y'all so cool, calm, and collected with people y'all don't know. But then you go home to the people that you love the most, genuinely love the most. And they love you back. And they genuinely love you back. And it's just, it's so much anger and, and, and misery and you're just stressed and it's just like ew i think they 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 the people that lash out and do that they just feel as though like um they just feel like (laughs) somebody's gonna um what the hell wrong with you (laughs) they gonna they what the hell you made me forget my whole thought (laughs) i'm sorry my my leg was falling asleep um (laughs) no they just feel like their family is gonna always forgive them for what they did. You should never think like that. They take them for granted. You should you, <laughs> sh- you should think about your family. <laughs> you should think about <laughs> You should think that? about your family the same way you think about that job. You know how you think about that job? I don't want to lose my job. I don't, don't want to lose, lose my, my f- job. Mm-hmm. Think about your family that same way. I don't want to lose my family. Mm-hmm. What can I change? You don't even have to necessarily quit the job. But what can I change about this situation so that I don't go home from this stressful ass, annoying ass job upset with my family? What can I change? 
can I change my hours? Can I change my days? Can I, oh, I don't know, maybe sit in my car for a few minutes before I go in the house and just decompress? Can I, oh, I don't know, get in my car as soon as I leave from work and decompress and then drive home? Make a playlist. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't have to be that you quit your job. Because like I said, I understand people need their jobs. They need to make a living for their families. I get that. So what can you do? to make changes so that you don't take home your job. You know how your job be like, leave, leave your personal problems at home. Well, leave your job problems. Leave, leave your job. Right. At, when you at, clock at, out, yeah. leave your job problems at your job. Yeah. Because they're not really anything. They don't have anything to do with you. These are customers, clients and, and managers and shit that have issues mm-hmm. that have nothing to do with you. They have everything to do with the company. Leave that shit where it's at. And it's, I'm sure, easier said than done Mm -hmm. because, you know, some people just get so frustrated that they, you know, some people don't know how to leave stuff where it is. Right. And that's why I said maybe try and find a different way. Maybe instead of going straight home, go to a park and just sit for a minute. Or, I mean, I know a lot of people like to have a drink after work. Go have a quick drink and then go home. Just do something that's just going to like. You, but you, you know what? That's that's easier said than done because people keep it lingering. They'll keep that shit on their mind all the time. People literally stay stressed all day because <laughs> they are thinking about things that stress them out. I know. I've done that. That's why I say I know it's easier said than done. Mm-hmm. Just being like, oh, my God, it's so stressful. Let me just not even deal with it. It's a whole lot easier said than done. Right. But it can be done. You just have to be willing to do it. That's true. You know, anything is possible. You just have to be willing to do it. That's true. I don't want to work. I don't want to work for the man. Every time I get a job, I'm fucking stressed. Okay. What do you need to do? Change it. Start your own business. Change it. Be the man. Change it. Have your own business if that's what you choose to do. Set your own rules. Mm-hmm. Have your own employees. And do, then change them. Do what them. they did, right. but better. Right. You feel right. like is is you anything is possible. Anything can be done. You just have to be willing to do the work to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to be stressed forever, or you could be stressed, but go go see a therapist. Shit, go see a therapist. Go play pool or get, like I said, get a drink or right. go swim. <laughs> Something that anything that you makes you feel good. Do that before you go home. Right. Not cheating. Okay, we ain't doing none of that. Bullshit. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't do that. I don't mean go out and have sex because that makes you feel good. When nope. you got a wife or a man at home. I'm not saying that bullshit. Nope. I'm saying. If that's if that helps you relieve your stress, because <laughs> it is a good stress reliever, okay? If that does help you relieve your stress, maybe go home, get your ass in the shower, get your man, get your woman, and do your thing. Do your thing. You feel me? Do y'all think? There are ways to decompress. There are ways to relieve stress. Maybe vent. And then bang her back out. You know what I'm saying? Have a (laughs) conversation. Y'all just listen to. (laughs) I got I'm stressed. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Damn, I just lost all conversation. Wait, hold on. Let me. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) <laughs> I think you just moved that too. Move what? You moved the camera fool. Oh, I didn't? Yeah, you did, bro. I saw it. How how would I move the camera? Because you moved the rug. Oh. Uh, that what? rug slides really easy. Okay, well, let's um Yeah, so now it's like All right, come on. Let's I was do it. Say, don't, do <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, let's uh Um But yeah, I just I feel like that's something that people should think about. Like mm-hmm. you know, you go you're so cool, calm, and collect when you're at work, when people talk to you crazy or treat you like shit. But then you go home because you're so angry 
because of your job or you're so stressed because of your job and you take that out on your family and that's not fair. Or you take it out on yourself and that's not fair. It's not because you stressing the fuck out because something ain't got nothing to do with you. Right. It's just, it's not fair to you. It's not fair to anybody else. And there are ways in which you can deal with that. I think it's when we start believing that we are pawns when we work for big corporations, then we'll have better understanding that this shit ain't ours. Remember I told you that? I was like, Why boy, you, bullshit? you just a piece on a checkerboard. I wasn't even on the checkerboard. Chessboard. I wasn't even on the chessboard. We was playing a, a Yahtzee. Damn. <laughs> it was a free game. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, like, it just, I don't know. I just thought about that. It's a good, it's a good one. You cool, calm. It's just like, where's the patience for your for your family? Where's the patience for your kids? Right, because like, as soon as the, where's the patience once you leave your job? I know, because it'd be like that, that, that. What do you want? It's like that. I miss you. I got so much to show you. Right. Well, damn, I'm not gonna talk to you, the nuts. <laughs> really? That's a, <laughs> that's how my kids be. These nuts. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta grow up at some point. Mm-hmm. Never growing up. I'm Toys R Us kid. <sighs> okay, but anyway, yeah, I think that's important. Something to think about. It's definitely you know, it's work should not be the only place where you are able to remain cool, calm, and collect because you're getting a check. <clears throat> you should be able to remain that same way outside of work. <clears throat> more more specifically, at home whether it's just you by yourself or you and your family, because at the end of the day, that love is more important than that check. That's how I see it. Keep the same energy. Yeah. So that's how I feel about Dan. That's a good one. That's a good one. Why it look like you was over there falling asleep though at a point? We wasn't. I wasn't. Who is we? We are Venom. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, nah, I wasn't. Just listen to Talk him. that. Sh- I, first of all, hold up. Let's in. Uh, hold up. I was looking at the board because I was like, I was about to be like, damn, we got a lot of stuff to talk about that's coming up that's really good, mm-hmm. really good. And I just was like, damn, because I looked at the third one. I'm like, god damn, that's gonna be a good one. I, it's shit. Well, you mean the fourth one? Oh, yeah, the fourth one. No, the third one's good, too. They're all good. I know. Yeah. I know. I mean, the second one, I really don't care too much for because it fucked them. Um, I mean, we kind of talked about it right now. Yeah. A little bit. Right. And I I think the first one. I know. I need to research for that, though. Yeah. So, yeah, let's. um, Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Finish. Oh, sorry. I'm planting my hair because, you know, I'm growing my hair out. And it is a tragedy, you guys. Oh, my God. She's going natural. I'm Boy. She don't put no uh, African uh, berries in her head. Y'all just listen to <laughs> Talk That Shit with the Melvin. We out this thing. Bye. Peace out.